Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be yet another New World Chalice combo tutorial. This time it is going to be some of the updated Undyne combos for the Planet Pathfinder combo sequences where you search Kyoto Waterfront out of your deck, meaning you don't have to hard draw it, meaning your play lines can be a lot more concrete and decided and pinpointed with what sort of things they're trying to get themselves into, the things you're trying to access with your World Chalice combos. This deck in its existence has just been slowly and slowly evolving from I hope I draw Waterfront or I hope I draw my win condition to we've implemented more things like additional starters in the form of Undyne, we went into a Gumblar thing to take Gamma Seal out of the picture to go for a more consistent win condition, and now Gamma Seal is coming back in with the Planet Pathfinder being an even more consistent win condition. So it's very interesting how the evolution of this deck has gone. It's gone from literally a very small handful of starter cards to having more starter cards, and it went from, I'm just going to try and draw my entire deck, and eventually I will get to Waterfront, to, we're just going to search Waterfront. Drawing cards is not even required, it's just a bonus thing, if anything. We're just drawing bonus cards because we can along the way. But so, what I'm going to show you in this video is the Gen X Undyne plus World Legacy World Chalice combo. I'm still trying to work out the details of the Gen X Undyne plus Brilliant Fusion combo. I don't think Undyne plus Lee works in any capacity, although I could be wrong. Uh, but basically, what I'm going to be showing you is the reason why some people have asked, I, am I still playing Undyne in the updated version of the deck? And the answer is yes. It's an additional starter card. It's not quite as good as Venus, but it is a close second. Uh, and honestly, it's just something you want to play to increase the consistency of opening starter cards in your deck. So I'm going to show you two variations of this combo. One is just Undyne plus World Legacy World Chalice. And then I'm going to show you another variation of the combo, which is an expandable form, which is Undyne plus World Legacy World Chalice plus any monster. But we'll get to that a bit later. But before I show you this combo, if you like the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know what you think. And if you're new here, consider subscribing if you already haven't. And if you want to check out more combo tutorials, the channel is littered with them. So I'd be glad to have you. But anyway, this combo, Undyne plus World Legacy World Chalice and no other monsters in your hand. This is a combo that I'd also consider doing as a default combo in any sort of sided game if I'm performing, th performing this combo because the ending board is a Gamma Seal and a Saryuja. You draw two cards total, one off Ngirsu and one off Saryuja after you've drawn four and put three back so you get to keep a card, so you essentially do draw two cards, putting yourself back at five cards in hand at the end of your play. But the main point why I say I would do this combo in like sided games, games two and game three, is because people are playing sphere mode again, and this play naturally plays around sphere mode. While it's not like the pro it's probably not the best result in terms of raw cards uh, and like raw like disruptions that you have on the board, it's just gamma seal. It is still a very strong combo for you to do. But so, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with Undyne, sending Rosenix, adding controller, Rosenix for the token into Link Spider, Link Spider specials controller out of your hand, which you make into M Duck. And so now you're going to use the Emdux additional normal summon, getting rid of the Undyne, normal summoning the World Legacy World Chalice, and then you are going to link into Reaper Dacus with World Legacy World Chalice and the Link Spider above the Emduk. But so now you're going to use the World Legacy World Chalice's Grave Effect, and you're going to special summon Lee the World Chalice Fairy and World Chalice Guard Dragon from your deck. Now you want Lee the World Chalice Fairy and Guard Dragon to both be out of the way, so you're going to special summon Guard Dragon in the far left zone and Lee over here as well, just so it doesn't mess up with your summon sorcerer's arrows. But so now your Lee is going to trigger its effect to search, you're going to get World Legacy World Chalice to your hand, and then you're going to use the Reproducus, changing the Emduk into a Dinosaur, and that's going to allow you to go into Summon Sorceress. So you're going to go into Summon Sorceress with Reproducus and the Emduk here, and then the Emduk is going to trigger Special Summoning the World Legacy World Chalice from your hand in either of Summon Sorceress's zones. It does not matter which one you use. But so now you're going to use Summon Source, target your World Legacy World Chalice, and then you're going to Special Summon the Planet Pathfinder from your deck to your field. That way we've accessed the card, and we have a lot of monster resources to work with. So this was a combo that people didn't seem to think it would work because of the fact that you're down a resource compared to Venus, because Undyne is only three monsters versus Venus is four, but it's still something that we're very capable of working with. But so, you're going to make Eeb here with Lee and the Planet Pathfinder, Eeb in the center monster zone, and then you are going to link into Firewall Dragon with Summon Sorceress and the World Legacy World Chalice next to your Eeb. 
And so now from here, the fact that we don't have a monster in hand is where this combo deviates from the second one I'm going to show you. If your hand is Undyne plus World Legacy World Chalice and no other monster, very rare that this would be the case, but you could open a hand like Transmodify, Two Called by the Graves, um, and like Undyne, World Legacy World Chalice. It happens. Things happen. Your other spells would probably be things like Brilliant Fusion, or they would be things like uh, like Shade Brigandine or Monster Reborn or Soul Charge extender cards. But there are cards in your deck that aren't extenders that you could have drawn into that are not monsters. So, this is the first combo sequence that involves you having no other monster in your hand, and then I'm going to show you the other one afterwards. So you're going to link the Guard Dragon into Link Karibo above the Firewall Dragon, so that you have a uh, uh, two co-links. You're going to use the Firewall Dragon's effect here, and the reason this is important that we're doing it this way is because if we had a monster in our hand, we could trigger Firewall to special from hand, and do some weird chains, and then go about a completely different route. But, unfortunately, we can't do that here. But So what we're going to do is we're going to add Planet Pathfinder to our hand, off the Firewall Bounce, and we're also going to add World Legacy World Chalice to our hand. And so what this is going to do is special the is going to add these and then you're going to use the Lee's Graveyard effect to send the Link Kribo to Grave to add Lee to hand and then Firewall Dragon is going to trigger to special summon. So you're going to special the Planet Pathfinder and now the Planet Pathfinder can use its effect searching for the Kyoto Waterfront. We're going to then activate the Firewall Dragon's effect to special summon. Uh, definitely something that we want to do. And you're going to just special summon any of your World Chalice names from your hand. The World Legacy World Chalices will be added back. We'll special summon that. Uh, and then we're going to activate the Kyoto Waterfront. And so now from here, we're going to use the Guard Dragon, banishing for Gen X Controller. And so now what we've got access to here is we're actually just going to get a cheeky little Ninjutsu draw one. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That was my throat deciding it wanted to not participate in the video. Uh, but so what we're going to do is we're going to link the controller into an MDuck. And then we have the ability to trigger Firewall Dragon's effect here, but not needed. Uh, we're not going to use this either. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to link into Ningirsu here. We're only going to get one draw off Ningirsu, but then we're also going to get a draw off Saryuja. So we are still displacing the cards that we invested into the combo. I said that in a previous combo video where... You really don't need to be getting too greedy with your Ningirsu draws, or your draws in general, because as long as you are, um, as long as you are displacing the number of cards that you invested into the combo sequence, then you're completely fine because you're getting those resources back. So we've invested two cards into this combo, and we're going to be drawing two cards at the end of it. So it's displaced itself, and then we have all the stuff on the field as pluses. So things to consider. But so. What we have is we've drawn one off Ningirsu. You don't need to be too greedy with it, like I said. You're drawing one, it's perfectly fine. Uh, you have things like Exodius or Soul Charge, or stuff that you can actually use to like recycle it back into your extra deck if you're playing those sorts of things. But the main thing here is that we have four monsters on the field now for our Saryuja play. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate Kyoto Waterfront, adding Gamma Seal to the hand. If you drew the Gamma Seal off of the Ningirsu draw, or if you had it in your hand already, this is another play you could utilize because you could just go into Saryuja, put it back, and then search it again because you'll have the counters on Waterfront. But so, what we have access to here is we're going to go into the Saryuja, a four material Saryuja. You may think it's like an, you may think it's like not uh, not economical to do something like that, but in reality, it's perfectly fine to do because, like I said, like I said, this uh, this has its merits, right? You've used a lot of resources into this, but it's kind of fine because you have the World Legacy World Chalice Engrave that can be banished for succession next turn, meaning you can revive Ningirsu or Firewall Dragon under the Saryuja, and that's good for resource. The Saryuja and the Gamma Seal here in sided games plays around raw sphere mode, which is something that people are siding against, so there is merit in that as well. And this is just, you know, it's, it's still strong. You're using Saryuja to draw an additional card. We started with two cards in hand, we've ended with two cards drawn, and then we just have a plus three in the form of the Kyoto Waterfront, the Gamma Seal, and the Saryuja Skull Dread. So it's not super impactful, but it is possible. It's not just Venus with this deck anymore. Like, you can still do stuff like this without Venus. But so, this is the simplified version of the combo. I'm going to clean this up, and then I'm going to show you the combo that is Undyne, plus uh, World Legacy World Chalice, plus any monster in your hand, a non-specific monster, and show you how that melds itself around into a little bit of a better board and something that you can use to rotate resources around. 
Alright, so like I said, Undyne plus World Legacy World Chalice plus any monster. It can be a duplicate Undyne, it could be anything. It literally does not matter what it is. Its stats don't matter, its attribute doesn't matter, its type does not matter. But so, you're going to start this the same way. You're going to use Undyne, send Rosenix, add the controller. Rosenix is going to be banished to get your token. That is going to be summoned here. You are going to make Link Spider. I'm going to try and go as fast as I can through this because this is the same starting step as the previous combo. Nothing is going to be different until we get to that firewall phase that I sort of mentioned in the previous iteration that I showed you. But so this into this, additional normal summon for the World Legacy World Chalice into Reaper Dacus, World Legacy World Chalice triggers, getting Lee and Guard Dragon, Lee here, Guard Dragon here. Guard Dragon being here is really important in this one. It wasn't so important in the last one if you had no monster, but now it's going to be triggering Firewall Dragon, so it does need to be in that far left-hand zone. And so then from here, or in the far right-hand zone, depending on what side you're going to make Summon Sorceress on, it doesn't matter which side you're working on, depending on what your extra deck is. But so now this changes into a Dinosaur, and we are going to make Summon Sorceress do the same steps. Summon Sorceress here, Mdux effects. Uh, triggers, no summon source effect, special this here, source effect targeting the World Legacy World Chalice, summoning Pathfinder from our deck into our zone, and then making Eeb with the Lee and the Pathfinder, and then making Firewall Dragon with the World Legacy World Chalice, and the summon sorcerer. So now here is where the combo differentiates, and you get more out of this one. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be linking away the Guard Dragon into Link Kribo like the previous combo, but now Firewall Dragon can legally trigger the special from hand. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to activate its effect to bounce two cards. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bounce Planet Pathfinder, and we're going to bounce World Legacy World Chalice to our hand again. Same cards that we bounced last time, but this time we get to special the Planet Pathfinder next to Firewall. And then we get to trigger the Planet Pathfinder to search for Kyoto Waterfront, which is then going to trigger Firewall Dragon's effect to Special Summon again. So we're going to Special Summon whatever that random monster was in our hand to the zone next to Firewall. So now from here we're going to activate the Kyoto Waterfront, and then we're going to link the Link Karibo and the random monster into Nightmare Phoenix. So it doesn't matter what stats it is, we're not, we're not doing anything like making Eeb with it or whatever, it just has to have a monster that has a different name from Link Karibo, which is completely impossible to have a Link Karibo in your main deck, at least as of right now. But so, Firewall Dragon is going to try a trigger, we are not going to trigger its effect, we're going to use Guard Dragon's Graveyard effect to revive the Gen X controller next to the Eeb, and then we are going to make an Mduk with it in any zone. And then we're going to activate the Kyoto Waterfront because it does have three counters on it to search Gamma Seal. And we're going to go for an Ningirsu draw two here. But so then we're going to go for the Ningirsu with Nightmare Phoenix and the Emduk. Summoning the Ningirsu. We're going to form our chain. Ningirsu's draw effect will be chain link one. We're going to trigger our Firewall special and our Emduk. Firewall will be chain link two and Emduk will be chain link three. And so now the Emduk is going to special this next to the Ningirsu. Firewall is going to special the Gamma Seal, and this board should start looking very familiar. This is literally identical to Venus plus World Legacy World Chalice that I showed you a couple days ago. You end up at an identical state. The only thing is that you did invest one more card into it because Undyne is only worth three monsters, whereas Venus was worth four. You had to pick up the slack. So this was a three-card combo, and you only drew two cards from it. So you didn't displace your hand. You still have a four-card hand instead of five. But it is something that still yields you, you know, a good thing. It yields you Gamma Seal, and it's going to yield you a live Firewall. But So you send the Firewall to add Lee back to hand, link these two into Orum. The E will trigger its effect, specialing the Lee. And then you get to use Orum to ditch this and get the Firewall back, making the Firewall live. So while you did not end with all of the cards back in your hand that you invested into the combo sequence, you do still end on a live Firewall Dragon. Gamma Seal with five counters. You did draw two cards, which is better than none. That means you still have a four card hand if you only did a three card combo with this play and all that sort of stuff. And now what's notable is that because the Firewall Dragon is live as well, if the monster that you had to invest into this card combo into uh, into doing the Phoenix play with the Link Karibo, if that was a hand trap like Ash, Droll, or whatever, you get that back! You get that back! You could just get it back off Firewall Dragon immediately right here. 
If it was an ash, a droll, anything that you want in your hand to like, complement the gamma sail, you can just do that. And while this board is something that I would do probably only in game ones, because this board loses to sphere mode, your opponent could sphere mode this, this, and this, and then you're just like, well, I guess I lose. Uh, this is something that you could definitely do in uh, game ones, and it's something I would advocate doing in game ones if you can go for it. Now, like I said, in sided games, I'd probably go for the first combo because one, it uses less resources, and two, it naturally plays around sphere mode while setting up for sort of a natural OTK next turn with Succession getting back Firewall or Ningirsu, and then like your Lee gets to be summoned, and you have all this other sort of stuff that factors into it. You have a five card hand with it, so like you've got stuff to play with, at least I'd assume so. You're using Saryuja, so you're digging for like Soul Charge, which you could also potentially use. There's a lot of factors that go into the first combo rather than this one, but I did want to show you this combo because this is a very important variation. But anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, like the video if you want to see more combo tutorials and stuff like this be done in the future. Leave a comment or a suggestion down below, and if you made it this far into the video, give me a hashtag Pathfinder in the comments down below. I really like how Pathfinder has sort of adjusted the way that we play this deck because, like I said earlier, we're not even really worried about drawing cards anymore. The like this deck's gone through so many evolutions to the point where we're like we were summoning three Saryujas a turn just to try and dig for Waterfront, but now we have Pathfinder, so we're just getting Waterfront and then drawing cards. So like it's not even mandatory that we make Ningirsu anymore if the combo doesn't call for it because we have pinpoint access into cards like Waterfront through Summon Sorceress and Pathfinder. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below as I've already said. If you're new here, consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. As I've already said, I like doing combo videos for various decks. I have a lot of combos already on the channel. There are definitely things that are going to be happening more of in the future. But anyway, links as always are in the description to my Twitch page and my channel's Discord server. If you're interested in either of those, my frequent live streams, or the Discord server to chat with me and other people about this deck and other things, other subjects, then those links in the description are going to be of use to you. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, as always. And take care. I'll see you in the next video.